All right, we start the skinny with a singing sensation. Uh, set the internet on fire this past summer. You might remember the nun who took just everybody by surprise with her performance on the Italian version of The Voice. She won the competition. Well, she's back now. Sister Christina Succia has released her debut single and a music video to go with it. The song, an interesting choice. Like a Yep, that is Madonna's hit song, Like a Virgin, originally released nearly 30 years ago. The instrumentation there, a bit more modern for the 26-year-old nun's rendition, she said she chose it with no intention to provoke or scandalize, yeah. but interpreted it as a song about the power of love to renew people. Huh. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Uh, <laughs> last week on Dancing with the Stars, things got a bit nuts. You know, they switched partners. Last night, the pairs were back together again. There was an elimination. Before we get to that, the show kicked off with a performance from your guy, Karina mm. Pitbull. Uh, he was a special guest judge. Also just announced he's going to be hosting the American Music Awards. Mr. Worldwide, showing everyone how it's done. Also, the return of a familiar face, Leah Remini, former contestant herself, was co-hosting, filling in for Aaron Andrews. The best dance of the night came from current favorite Alfonso Ribeiro and partner Whitney Carson. Both of them were battling injuries, but that didn't stop them from pulling out a near perfect score of 39 for their salsa to JLo's hit song, Booty. Carrie Ann even slapping up on his butt to congratulate him. Okay, they need to go ahead and just give them that they're going to win this thing. It's, it's a wrap. But uh, got the boot last night. Actor Jonathan Bennett and his partner Allison, uh, whose dance was good according to the judges, but apparently not good enough. They were the ones who sent back. After weeks of speculation, Bethany Frankel is returning to the show that helped make her popular, The Real Housewives of New York City. Bravo announcing that the news that Frankel will be returning for season seven. She had left after season three. Well, I'm for one relieved that she's back. I know you are. Back. Such a big fan of that show. Yeah, this move comes at a time that's pretty much good for Frankel and The Real Housewives franchise. Uh, her daytime show was just canceled after one season. Um, she was feeling relieved, she said, though, that it was canceled. But you're disappointed. You love that show, yeah, It was you? fantastic. Daytime. Ratings for The Real Housewives of New York have dwindled since Frankel's departure, but if it continues to turn, turn south, she'll always have that low-calorie skinny girl drink thing that she's got going on. I'm a fan of that as well. And a big congratulations to Robin uh -huh. Roberts, who was inducted into the Broadcasting and Cable Hall of Fame last night, honored at the Waldorf Astoria Hotel here in New York. The rest of the GMA family, of course, on hand. She was uh, honor at this 24th annual induction ceremony. She looks terrific. Robin tweeted out a picture with George, Lara, Amy, Ginger, and Michael, the whole team, with the hashtag so blessed. Fellow honorees included outgoing Major League Baseball Commissioner Bud Selig and the show's Mad Men and Family Feud. Uh, she began her broadcasting career 30 years ago, so congrats. Mm. Robin, we'll see you here in just a couple hours. That's right, and time for some celebrity birthdays. Uh, the big day today, Joyce Randolph play Trixie on The Honeymooners turns 90 years old. Judge Judy Schindlin turns 72. Carrie Fisher, Princess Leia, yeah, she turns 58. Kim Kardashian West turns 34. Big happy birthday to everyone. Is she really using the West? She is using the West. Ah. It's official. Coming up, World Series super fan. You gotta see.